those Girl Scouts <laughs> this morning. Kalina, good morning. Well, good morning, you guys. Yeah, this is a peanut butter patty. I took a bite of it earlier, and it is delicious. Now, that mega drop event happened this past weekend, and over 144,000 cookies were ordered, and one trip alone took away 16,000 cookies. So that's a lot of cookies that these girls need to sell. And guess what? I have two of the top sellers here with me today, Haley and Kylie. Say hi, girls. <gasps> we were shaking it off earlier trying to get ready for you guys. So, Haley. First of all, tell me how many cookies, or what's your, actually, what's your goal this year for cookies? I want to sell 6,000 boxes. How many did you sell last year? I sold 5,000. How did you do that? <laughs> I just went door to door every day, and I worked my hardest. Oh, she worked her hardest. So I'm going to help you try to sell some more this year, okay? Now, you, Kylie, tell me what's your goal this year, and how many did you sell last year? My goal is to do... 2,500 boxes, okay. and my, the boxes I sold last year was 2,873, pretty sure. Good job. All right, so girls, tell me, is there a cookie that's like the easiest one to sell? Um, the Thin Mints are a really good sell. Oh, well, I believe that because our executive producer asked me earlier to bring back some Thin Mint cookies. So I'm definitely, I know he's definitely a fan. Um, okay, so let's go through some of these cookies right now. You want to walk around the table with me? So right now I have, actually, Kylie picked out my outfit today. Tell me why you picked this one out. Peanut butter patties are my favorite cookie. <laughs> So they're your favorite, so she wanted me to wear her favorite cookie today, peanut butter patties. All right, so let's go through these. So the one I have in my hand is a peanut butter patty, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I tried this earlier. Now, what's this one? That's the Thin Mint. Oh, perfect. What's this one? That is the new and delicious gluten-free trio. Oh, it's a gluten-free one? Mm -hmm. So this is the new cookie for the year, right? You guys pick a, a new cookie every like couple years, every yeah. two years, so this is the new one? Okay. Mm, that's good. Okay. And what is this one? That is the Caramel Delights. Caramel Delights. These are my favorite. Ooh, piece of candy. Eat the whole thing. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Um, and what about this one? Those we brought in last year, and they're sort of new. Those are the uh, cranberry um, crisps. Okay. Well, I'm going to try this. We're going to be back with um, more cookies and more girls. I'll let the crumbs off of my face <laughs> um, in just a little bit. Guys, back to you. Mm -hmm. All right, Kalina. Very, <laughs> very yummy. Uh, we're big, uh, big fans of, uh, of, of Girl Scout cookies here at the Eyewitness News studio, you know, headquarters, if you will. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> getting a first-hand look at this year's brand new cookies. Kalina, mm -hmm. good morning. Well, good morning, Robin Amity, and yes, right now I'm at the Girl Scout Regional Office here in Kern County, and this past weekend was a mega drop event where over 144,000 cookies were ordered, and this troop alone took out 16,000 cookies. That's a lot of cookies these girls have to sell. Now I have Sophia here with me. She's one of the cookie sellers as well. So tell me, how many cookies did you actually sell last year? About 2,500. And then do you have a goal for this year? Another 2,500. <laughs> That's a pretty good goal. Kylie was here with me earlier. What's your goal again? 2,500, but now I'm pretty sure I wanted to at least 3,000. Ah, ambitious here. It <laughs> changed. And this is our top seller. She was here with me earlier as well. How many cookies did you sell last year? And tell me how many you're going to sell again this year. I sold 5,000 last year, and this year I want to sell 6,000. Okay, so these girls are really ambitious and they definitely know what they're doing. They told me earlier that the top seller is also Thin Mints. Shout out to everyone who likes Thin Mints out there. <laughs> you guys are really helping these girls out. Now I have Tanil here with me, so tell me a little bit about the process. And you guys started selling your cookies yesterday. Correct. And then how long do you have to sell? Well, the girls get to sell um, from February 1st to February 19th, and that's what we call our walkabout period. So they're going from door to door, um, anywhere, you know, friends and family, you know, that they want to sell. And then from February 20th through March 22nd is what we call our boothing period. So they're still going door to door, but they're also at our local grocery stores, they're at our Walmarts and different places that they can find to go out so that the public can find them for those of them that don't know girls that are actually Girl Scouts. So the boothing period, do you guys take turns per troop 
to go in front of the store? Yes, actually what we do um, is each troop probably will have a different time slot. So they'll have a time slot probably of about two hours per period. In some locations, the girls are just there all day, just depending on you know who found the locations and who didn't. So that's how we do it. Okay, so how long have you been with this organization and what's what's the coolest thing these girls have been bringing to you? Like what, what the ethics and morals that you guys bring to the table? Well, you know, I've been with us for about three years now and what I love so much about this organization is that we're building these girls for tomorrow. So they are learning to become leaders. Um, they're able to be out there. They know what they want. They know their goals. They haven't changed their goals. Um, and they're really trying to get the point across that we're not just selling cookies. You know, we're more than just that. Obviously, it's cookie season, but during this time, they have those great five key sales that they're, skills that they're learning. Um, and so I'm excited for them this year. Well, good. I'm excited for you guys, too. We're going to check back in just a little bit with more cookies and more selling with these Beautiful Girl Scouts. We'll be right back, guys. All right, Kalina, thank you very much. It is now five. You guys, yeah, we're talking cookies here, and I actually have the new cookie that debuted. It's called Trios, and it is gluten-free, chocolate chip with peanut butter and oatmeal. And let me tell you, I tried this earlier, and it is delicious. So over the weekend, the Mega Drop event happened. Over 144,000 cookies were ordered. This troop alone took away 16,000. We have two of the top sellers here. Now, they just started selling yesterday, and it's crazy. These girls are so good. Tell me how many boxes you sold yesterday. 499 boxes. In one day. What about you? 100. And you? 200. Okay, so we got some really good sellers here. Now, I was learning earlier that they sell so many cookies for a reason and a purpose. So tell me a little bit about that. You guys took a trip last year to Georgia. You guys have a trip planned this year. So tell me about the process and what's the goal and how many cookies you need to sell in order to accomplish that. Well, last year we took a trip to Savannah, Georgia, which is the birthplace of the founder, Juliet Gordon Lowe. Mm -hmm. And this year we plan on taking a trip to Washington, D.C., New York. So that's partly why we sell so many cookies and work so hard with our boothings and door-to-door -door and everything that we do so we can take these trips. So who decides on what trip to go to? And what, what was I hearing earlier about Paris? Where did Paris come into play? That is actually with the travel mm -hmm. group through oh, council. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you know anything about that? Yeah. Okay. Um, our travel group is actually going to London to Lucerne, okay. and they're actually doing the Georgia trip this summer as well. Oh, wow. So you guys want to help these girls go on their trips, make sure you buy some cookies, and Kylie is going to tell me how she does this. So we practiced this earlier a little bit. I'm the door you come up to. How do you sell your cookies to me? Hello, ma'am. <laughs> Would you like to buy some cookies? <laughs> and then I say, well, so wait, why do you want to be a Girl Scout? Why are you selling cookies? Well, I like being a Girl Scout because I meet new friends, and I'm selling these cookies so I can go on my Washington, D.C., New York. They are adorable. We are going to talk more cookies in just a little bit. And also the Thin Mint race coming up soon. So we'll check back in just a little bit, you guys. All right, Kalina. Thank you very much. Girl Scout cookies. Baby. That is exactly right. Kalina Estrinos is live with the Girl Scouts this morning, getting a firsthand look at uh, what we can expect from this year's batch of Girl Scout cookies. Kalina, good morning. <laughs> well, good morning, you guys. And yes, so many cookies were delivered over the weekend because of the Mega Drop event. Over 144,000 cookies delivered here to Kern County. And this troop alone took 16,000 cookies. They got a lot on their plate, literally, to sell. We have two of the top sellers here. 5,000 last year, 2,500 last year, or excuse me, 2,800 last year. And I have Pamela with me. She is the Director of Fund Development, and we're going to be talking about Thin Mints and the Thin Mints 5K. So tell me a little bit about it. I heard Thin Mints are the most popular cookie and the one that goes the fastest. Why do you think that is? Oh, uh, it's, it's just delicious. It's <laughs> actually the number one seller uh, in the United States. So, I mean, in we the all. Whole US? Yes, the wow. number one. So, we love the mints. You guys ever run out of a cookie? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> all the time. We can't keep them on the shelves. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so tell me a little bit about the 5K, where it's happening, and how people can sign up. This is our, our third year for the 5K Thin Mint uh, run, 
It's also called the One Mile Short Bread Shuffle. And it was started uh, by Soul to Soul, who wanted to give back to the community. Uh, he has three, Scott Newton has three locations, and he and his family said, hey, this is a great way of giving back. So we started this event three years ago, and it's held in the marketplace. And because it became so popular, we decided to hold it in Fresno as well. Oh, wow. So last year we had over 900 runners participate. Wow. Oh, that's a lot of people. So two locations, two places you can sign up. So tell me, yesterday is the first day that you guys started selling your cookies. How long does it go through? And then tell me when the booths actually start outside locations. The cookie sale actually goes through February the 20th, I believe. And the boothing starts on, I'm sorry, the boothing starts February the 20th. Yes, the boothing starts February the 20th. And then the last day to buy the cookies? Uh, March 20th. Okay. And if you guys do do the Thin Mint Run, um, I'm told that you get a free box of cookies. Yeah, for those who participate in the Thin Mint Run, they actually get a free box of Thin Mint cookies. The children will get a medallion. Uh, they also get a running t-shirt and other goodies that are that will be in the baggies. Aww. Well, see, that's a great cause, and these girls are also trying to raise money so they can go on one of their trips. They're going to Washington, D.C., New York, right? Mm -hmm. So if you guys want to help, buy some cookies. There's obviously still time. Just started yesterday. It's going through March. And you can sign up also for the Thin Mint 5K run. You guys, we will uh, be right back. And I'm going to eat more cookies. According to LJ, LJ oh, stole my cookie. Yeah. Psych. Yep. You know what? LJ like his, likes rude. his cookies. That's a big he part of his like day. He does like his cookies. Especially on a Monday. Mm-hmm. 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 What's your favorite Girl Scout cookie? Uh, you know what? I just I knew that was coming. I, the peanut butter thing. I like the coconut ones. I like them all. I'm not a discriminator. Wait, this, the coconut ones used to be called Samoas, but they changed them, right? Yeah, they changed them to coconut ones. Coconut ones. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of all Girl Scout cookies. Anything the Girl Scouts put out, I'm. I'm I'll I'm, eat I'm, it. Um, yeah. I'm, I'll I'm, try I'm, it. I would say they come to the door, and it's not like a oh man, where's the wallet? It's it's kind of like I'm waiting for them. Yeah. You're you know, like, they're, do, 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 and I'm like, oh yeah, that might be the Girl Scouts. <laughs> <laughs> 